Hi guys, Little Aussie Mel here doing an update video. I decided to quickly do one. Um, it's the last day of 2015 and um, yeah, and I was sitting down last night doing some goal setting and uh, came across something that I thought I could share with everybody. It might be helpful if you're also going to set some goals for the new year. Um, so I'll go back to the beginning. Uh, my highest weight was 105 kilos or 231 pounds. I got to my goal weight um, about well, just under a year after the surgery. Um, so that was about 65 um, pounds. I always forget what the pounds were. I think it was about 145 pounds. Um, so I had so my VSG was about two years ago, and I'm currently I weighed myself the other day and I'm sitting at 72.4 kilos. So that's obviously. Um, So that's uh, one thing that I definitely want to work on in 2016. Uh, so I'll go back to the goal setting. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about setting goals and then also uh, catching up on a, one of my uni lectures because I'm doing um, my psychology degree. And it was talking about um, the, the real self and the idealised self and how apart from each other, uh, it's going to cause uh, neurotic neurotic tendencies, um, so that could be depression or anxiety, or um, you just, you're not going to be a happy person basically. So um, I scribbled down a little diagram I'll show you to give you the concept. So yeah, so imagine this is your real self and this is your idealised self, and the closer those two things are together, the more overlap there is, the more happiness you're going to However, if, for example, there's a huge difference between how you'd like to see yourself and how you really are, um, yeah, you're not going to feel very good about yourself. So, um, yeah, so I, I ended up using that to, I sat down and I wrote a list of, or sort of a description of my idealised self, um, just bullet points, and then I went through the list and I ticked off things that I thought um, was true about my real self um, and things that I didn't think were true I sort of gave them a score like a percentage of how how much I am meeting that aspect so um, some of the things I rated myself like I, I maybe I am that way 70% of the time some things were 0% some things were 50% um, and so on so then once I did that, I found it was really easy to then look at all those things that I wasn't, that I didn't already uh, feel were, were true statements about myself and could move them over into a category of things that I wanted to work on for 2016. So um, give that a go. I found it a really interesting exercise. Um, in some ways it was an uplifting exercise because I realised that yeah, I think I do have a pretty good overlap of those two circles. Um, but I think the the part that isn't overlapped on the ideal self, for me, that just speaks for um, potential things you can work on, and um, it's always good to have something to work on. Uh, so what have I been up to since my last video? I moved house. Um, I absolutely love where I'm living now. I don't have any more planes going overhead. Uh, I have a beautiful view out over. Uh, towards Mount Warning and the Tweed River. Um, I'll just give you a little pan of that. Hang on a second. It's a bit windy here today. So anyway, I hope I have that. I showed you. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping that I can stay here for a long time. The kids love it. I'm really happy here. I'm really close to family. Uh, the rent's awesome. So, um, yeah, so that's going to be a really good way to start the year. Um, the main thing, health and weight loss wise, that I want to focus on in my goals um, is repairing my metabolism because um, I really, you know, my weight's been creeping up gradually over the last, um, you know, year and a half. 
I really, you know, I'm, I'm still eating well under what a normal person should be eating for their base metabolic rate. So, uh, I mean, not that I don't track my calories, but I just know based on what I eat um, that, that, yeah, I, I really shouldn't be gaining weight with what I'm eating. So my focus is going to be to learn all about uh, repairing metabolic damage and focusing on eating the foods and doing the exercise that's going to help me gradually build that up to um, a more normal place to be. So I guess um, I'm hoping that, that, that I can achieve some weight loss throughout that process as well. Um, although I do, from what I've watched so far, I know that some people do um, gain weight when they're trying to fix their metabolism because you, know, you need to eat more. Um, there's a bit of a changeover process that happens for your body with um, readjusting to things so I'm going to try not to focus on that too much um, on the weight on the scale I mean and uh, and do all my measurements and and keep track of it that way I mean I'll still I'll still weigh in maybe once a month um, yeah just for statistically but that's not going to be my main focus um, but yeah, I can definitely feel that I've, you know, I've gained weight around my stomach. I can feel, um, yeah, a bit of my legs and my butt and a little bit of my face, that kind of stuff. But um, I just, yeah, I just, in some ways, I do want to just get back down to that goal weight to prove to myself that I can, that I can do it. I think that would just ease my concerns about this being a gradual slide back to the old me. Um, but yeah, I. But I am kind of happy with where I am too. Um, you know, I mean, I, my clothes all fit fine. Um, yeah, I feel good about the way I look. But, but yeah, I, I would definitely like to get back down to that 65 kilo range. Um, so yeah, I guess I just wanted to thank everybody for all the support they've given me throughout this whole YouTube journey. Uh, it really has changed my life. I know that at any time I can reach out for support if I need it. Um, I do feel guilty about not giving much back to the community anymore. Um, life has just kind of got um, back to normal. Um, you know, two little kids and being a single mum and all of that kind of stuff. It, there's not a whole lot of time, but I mean, I guess they're just excuses. But um, Also trying out the um, internet dating thing at the moment, so that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think there'll be a lot of changes in 2016, and I'm looking forward to sharing that sporadically with you when I feel like making a video. Okay, I well, hope you all have a great New Year's Eve. Um, be safe, don't drink and drive, just have fun, and uh, and I'll see you soon.